Hey Trailer Park fans, I visited a date farm out in California and I brought some dates back. Today we're going to be making a date cake with butter frosting, up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. She's bringing the Trailer Park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy. Cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya She's the queen of the park She's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya Jolene Sugar Baker Jolene Sugar Baker is one budget-minded girl Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park The passion at the park The passion at the park Dropping in on neighbors is all part of Jolene's world. Jolene Sugar Baker, she's the trailer park queen. Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, I recently went to California and I went to a date farm. Not that kind of date, but the dates that grow on trees. And, you know, all I've had before is the little bits and pieces that look like they come out of a rock tumbler. And I've never really had the big dates before. And I got the medjool dates, and that's supposed to be the best of the best. And, you know, I brought them home, and, you know, I always have problems with oversized luggage. And they're like, um, Jolene, your luggage is over, and is there anything you could take out? Well probably about six pounds of dates maybe and had to lug them on the aircraft but I've got them back inside the trailer park test kitchen lots of things you can do with these I even had a burger out in California that was topped with dates but the first time around I wanted to actually just compliment um, the actual dates and um, what I wanted to do is make a cake out of them something light and something airy so today we're going to be making a date cake with butter frosting and it's so simple to make and if you can't find the fresh dates and I found out they grow on trees that's about as far as I got with that I watched some video too um, but it's dates there's different varieties you can google about that if you really want to learn about that I just know that they taste good and I can't wait to use them in today's date cake recipe and I'm going to show you how to make it up next I'll be right back You'll need the following ingredients to make my date cake with butter frosting. One egg. One cup chopped dates. One cup hot water. One teaspoon baking soda. Some vegetable shortening. Two cups all-purpose flour. One fourth teaspoon salt. One teaspoon baking powder. Some vanilla extract. One cup chopped nuts. Here's how you put it together. Welcome back. Making my date cake with butter frosting is really simple and you don't have to go to the farm to get dates. Wait a minute, that sounds funny. Um, anyway, I went to the uh, actual place where the dates were harvested from the trees and I brought back fresh dates. You can get them in the stores probably in the dried fruit section. But if you get the big dates, they have a little pit in them that you have to take out. And I took a cup of the fresh dates that I brought back from California and I chopped them up here. And what we're going to do is add a cup of hot water to them. And we're going to set this aside with one teaspoon of baking soda right on in there. And we're going to mix this around and let this cool. So let me get this started and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, welcome back. Into the mixer, you're gonna put one egg right on into there. And I've got one cup of regular sugar. That goes right on into the bowl, just like that. And then you're gonna need some vegetable shortening, just the um, kind that comes in the bucket, or now they have it in the nice little sticks. You need about a blob the size of an egg, which is probably about one fourth cup. So that goes right on in there. You're gonna cream this together. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. 
Okay, now that you cream that together, you're going to add 1 4 teaspoon of salt right on into the mixture, just like that. Then I have a teaspoon of baking powder. That goes right on to the, into this mixture. Now, um, before we use the soda into the date mixture, but that goes right on in there, just like that. Now, it uses a teaspoon of vanilla extract. You know I don't measure that. So we're just going to add that right on in there, just like that. And I've got two cups of all-purpose flour, and we're going to slowly add that so it gets combined. So let me get that going, and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, you've got kind of a dry mixture now, but we're going to add the date mixture, which kind of has set up a little bit. But we're just going to pour that right on into the bowl and mix this on up. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. Now, if you like nuts, you can add a half cup of your favorite nuts. And today I'm using a half cup of chopped walnuts. So you can go ahead and just pour them in and just mix that up just a little bit more. Okay, we've mixed up the batter and I can see the dates and the nuts uh, peeking through there. And I've got an 8x8 eight eight baking dish that I've sprayed out and I've preheated the oven at 350 degrees. And I'm just going to spread this out into the baking dish. Now, when I was at the date farm, I had a hamburger, actually it was a cheeseburger with bacon too, um, with dates on top. And for an appetizer, I had bacon wrapped um, stuffed dates. And there's just so much things that you can do uh, with the dates and I can't wait to try other things. But today I really wanted to make a cake that just really actually highlighted the taste of the dates more than anything because you could mix it with chocolate and of course bacon as we talked about that before and I just really wanted to try it in this cake today. Now I'm going to be making the butter icing in just a moment but we need to set our timer for about 45 minutes for the cake part. So set your timer. Okay, making a butter frosting for our date cake is really simple and I've got one third cup of softened butter right here in a bowl. I'm just using a saucepan. You're going to use a bowl because you're not actually going to cook this at all. It's really simple to make your own frosting. Now to the butter, I've got one fourth cup of milk and three cups of powdered sugar. That's confectioner sugar and what we're going to do is add the sugar right on into the bowl just like that and we're going to slowly add the milk and cream this all together till it's a nice icing consistency but i like to kind of give it a kick with the vanilla about one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract in there goes really well so let me go ahead and add a little bit of milk to start with and just start creaming this together to make an icing Okay, we let our date cake cool down and look at that. Look how pretty that is. Now you could use store-bought icing, but nothing's as good as the butter icing that you can make at home. Look at that. You could probably add some food coloring to it for the holidays, but we're just going to spread this out right on top of this date cake. I really wish you were here because we're going to cut into this and taste this in just a moment. So let me go ahead and frost this with this nice butter frosting that we made right here in the trailer and I'll be back with you in just a moment. And there you have it, my date cake with butter icing that we made right here in my trailer. And you can make it in your trailer or your home too and really impress people. I was so excited to bring these dates back from California. Not so happy about the luggage over fees, but um, I did get them back here and I wanted to make a cake and there's all sorts of things you can make with dates. What would you make with dates? Leave a comment down at the bottom because I've got lots more. I'm going to do some other things, but I really wanted to highlight the taste of the dates. I had a date shake while I was in California and it just had a great flavor that just didn't need anything else. And you know, you could wrap dates in bacon and you can add chocolate to it. But I wanted to highlight them in this cake because it's kind of a vanilla type cake. And I put uh, walnuts in it today. You could use any type of nuts that you uh, like. And we made an icing. It's a butter icing and I, I'm tired of talking about it because I just want to try it here. Let me give it a taste. Mmm. That is 
so moist and the date flavor really comes out and I really can't describe dates. It's like a brown sugar comforting taste and mm, amber and um, just nice and it's a sugary in a good way and um, the crunch of the nuts is good too and that butter ice and people will be talking about that for weeks when you make that form and mm, that is so good and um, leave a comment down at the bottom about what other date things that you want me to make and don't forget to follow the trailer park on Twitter I'm Jolene's trailer there add me on Facebook I'm Jolene sugar baker there and of course visit the newly re redesigned I redid it my website jolene'strailerpark.com and you can even send me notes there too I love y'all hit that big old subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet tell your friends and I'll be back soon cooking up a storm here inside the trailer park test kitchen I'll see you soon bye bye slap on all your blue eyeshadow watch out for that big tornado get all filled with bye. pride in the double wide Trailer Park Queen. Visit my store at trailerparkstore.com.